Tension, 25 Years Underground, chronicles the band's pursuit of their musical aspirations, their rise in popularity from the 70s through the 80s, along with their signing of the subsequent record contract. We recorded it in the basement of Capitol Records in Hollywood, a, a state-of-the-art at its time studio. So, I mean, uh, Pat Benatar was in the control room right next to us. Uh, Bob Seeger was in the control room in back of us. After Tension signs the deal, they stuck to their guns and refused to bow to the demands of the record company. We played songs that I think came out more or less like Iron Maiden and they listened to it and said that's not good enough. We need songs that we can get on the radio or we're going to drop you. So Tommy was uh, totally against it. I was like at the point where, I, you know, what do we do? Do we give them the three songs and then play ten songs the way we want? Do we, you know, what do we do here? The hair bands went pop and went this way and that's what the record companies wanted. The metal guys stayed this way and they stayed true to their boots and they refused to do it. Marty Friedman and Tommy Gaddis both cut their teeth in this band, and the film opens a time capsule to reveal vintage video footage and unbridled interviews. Tension or Deuce could have been everything that every great band was. They were that good. And I still believe it this day, and I know that. Why didn't they make it? Why, did, why aren't they a household name like Metallica or Megadeth or, or Maiden or anybody, they didn't have the mark. Megadeth was like an extension of Deuce, really, you know. I think if Deuce would have kept on going, we would have become a uh, you know, lean, mean killing machine like Megadeth especially in between me and Tommy. You know, and apparently Billy really upped his game later in the tension years too. So um, I think, you know, Megadeth is not a distant, distant stretch from Deuce. Rock and roll has always been about pissing off your parents and going against conventional norms. And, you know, we, we had Kiss, we had Alice Cooper, we had things that pissed off our parents. Our parents had Elvis Presley that pissed off their parents. And now we got kids and we're pissed off about Marilyn Manson. I mean, that's the beautiful thing about it. If it doesn't piss someone off, it's not rock and roll, so. 